Hi guys, this is Umu from React to the K, and today I will react to Day 6's comeback. I am literally not ready. I came home from work, threw my shoes off, plopped on the couch, turned on that TV, went to check my phone, and boom, there was Day 6's comeback. Anyways, without further ado, I am ready. I read a few comments, I couldn't help myself, um, and it looks like this is like one of those uh, music videos where like there's one girl and then all the guys fall in love with the girl. I probably will not follow the storyline at all. I will just concentrate on the music and be very confused with the storyline or just enjoy their beautiful faces. Here we go. Is this actually part of the song? Okay, so this is the harder rock than they've ever been doing. Ooh, those vocal harmonies. Just dress up. Love this synth. Like the piano synth. Nice half step motion. Oh, change of tempo. I like that little... Things keep happening, so when I want to say something, another thing happens and I want to talk about that. But brass, definitely synthesized. Glad hear you brass. Listen to those chords! Holy fuck! I hear you, seventh. And back to this. Yeah. Yes. Oh, I saw her checking him out. Or was she just like, whatever? It was either checking him out or going whatever. Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Oh, fall in love, boy. Is one feel falling in love with Sungjin? And then he's like, oh no, she love, he love her. He's straight. Oh, I love that a lot. And then here comes the brass. How how do they fit in that crusty? Guitar with like almost cool funk into one song. <laughs> oh, I like his hairband. That's really cool. Is she gonna push him off the roof? Again, some chords. I really, really like this chorus. Bridge. Ooh. That reverb. Mm. Yes, sir. Damn, I wish I had basketball skills. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, so many chromatic notes in this song. Oh, this is the dissonant part. That was in the teaser. Was it? There we go, that was it. Like the... bass strings. <laughs> Low strings came up when... the violins came down. That right there. Yay. Wait, shit, what's that called? Good song! Wait, and that didn't resolve. Wait, what's that called? What's that called? Uh -huh. Contrary motion in the string parts. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I need to review my music theory terms before I go back to school. Holy cow. Wow. This made me say, wow. I like this 25 billion times better than Hi Hello. Um, Hi Hello was just like such a nice, easy listen song. 
not my thing, ended up not being my thing. But this, this, I think will also take a few listens because there's just so much going on and I need to get used to like the wide variety of styles of music they like shoved into this song. But like, if I turn on my musician brain and just think of this from a musical standpoint, it's pretty darn good. Okay, let's, let's listen to this again. Such a weird start. I mean, I love it. Because you've never heard this sound from Day6 before. Oh yeah, it starts off with Sunshine again. Oh yeah, I remember- People were like, oh, what is Umu calling Sunshine Bob? Okay, I'll, I'll call him Sunshine from now on. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I don't think this is gonna take me too many lessons to fall in love with. I'm oh. Oh, and then it goes into half time. Oh, half step in the bass. Just going down, down, baby. And then it cuts out for the vocals. And then it's such a laid back almost chorus, but also jamming at the same time. Like it isn't dance dance. Oh yeah, I love the strings with the vocal part right there. More contrary motion, creating dissonance. I think strings are going 7-1 and then vocals are doing 5-4. I have no idea. God, I don't know how I passed oral theory last year. And then it, it's so, it's almost really difficult to tell the tempo with the, I don't know what to call it, let's just call it hard rock guitar. It's hard to tell the tempo with a hard rock guitar because of the rhythm is syncopated a little bit, I think. Which is really cool, so it's almost like a silence but there's sound at the same time. So it's a really nice transition, even though it's like wacky as heck. I'm really happy with song. Bro, I would fall in love with her too. And then they kind of bring in the hard rock guitar and the bass right now. Do they? Oh, did they change that? The vocals? Did they add another? Oh! Oh! For the trial. Yeah, yeah. Strings don't go 7 1. They do something weird. Why don't they have, like, brass player backup dancers? Brass player. Brass playing backup dancers. Sorry. Words, English, doesn't exist at midnight. Chasing you, baby. Oh, octave down and then he goes up and he's like, ah. Oh, oh, they did the changey thing before every single chorus. Dude, the brass is, dude, bros, my dudes. The brass is so covered up by the electric guitar and percussion and strings that you can barely tell it's synth. But you can hear that texture just like a tiny bit. I don't, I really don't know what's happening here. So they went from... Okay, okay, so Sungjin gets her. In the end. Oh. Yes. Strings. Oh, look at that. Oh no, poor, poor one poor one pure. Wait, what does that end on? The notes are moving so fast, wait. Did that end on two? Yeah, it ended on two. Ah, oh, such a good song. I like you a lot. I, I, we, we, we will react. This is going on the to react list. I don't need to even run it by Yin Yi. I know this for sure. Um, I'm trying to think of a pun. Congratulations to day six for making my day. I made that pun already, but I, I, I don't mind reusing it. And, and I have a note for 
the girl actress in the music video, you were beautiful. And to day six, you made colors dance dance before my eyes for the first time. Uh, for the first time, I'm serious. I, I wait to hunt down the, sec the B-side song of this album. I smile because I would dance dance again from happiness because this one song is so good. How can I say? Sorry, that was really cringy and went nowhere, but thanks for watching, guys. Bye.